In this video, we'll be looking at the Blackboard mobile app. When opening the app for the first time on your device, you will need to type in your school's name. Here, you will type in Westminster and select University of Westminster. Your username is your W number followed by the first seven digits. And then you type in your university password. Once you've logged in, you will land into the activity stream. And this is where you'll find module related activities on the modules that you're enrolled onto. These include announcements and notifications from your tutors, newly added content and assessment deadlines. Use this page to keep updated on what's happening across all your modules. Click on the hamburger icon on the top left hand side to navigate around the app. The first icon along the top is your profile. And this is where you can see some basic information, such as your university email address and your username. Next up is courses, and courses will show you all the modules that you're enrolled onto. When you access a module, this is what you'll see. Along the top, you will see your current mark, and this is based on submitted work. You will be able to see your due dates for your assignments, and your next due date will be shown here. To see your upcoming due dates, click on the date. Under course materials, you've got announcements, and this is where you'll see announcements from your tutor. Not only will you see announcements in the activity stream, you can access the announcements in each module. In course content, you'll find the module handbook, learning resources that will house all the teaching materials, put up to recordings, assessments, and a link to our dedicated blog called Blackboard Help, where you'll see a list of frequently asked questions and answers to help you with the use of Blackboard Ultra and other learning tools. Let's take a look at learning resources. This is where you'll find learning materials. They may be organized by weekly folders or by topics, depending on the module. If you'd like to download any content for offline viewing, just click on the arrow pointing downwards in the top right hand corner. Not only can you view and download learning materials, you can also join a live collaborate session. To do this, select collaborate when you access your module, and then you can select the session that you would like to join. This will open the browser on your phone and take you into the session. Once you have joined the session, you will land in the main room where the session will take place. Here are some tips when you're in a session. To raise your hand, Select the icon at the bottom of the page. To access the chat, select the purple chevron and this will open the collaborate panel where you can send a message. To leave the session, select the hamburger icon on the top left hand side and at the bottom there is the option to leave session. What's great about the Blackboard app is that I can view and reply to discussions on the go. When you're in your module, select discussions and you'll see all discussions that have been created. To reply, select add reply at the bottom and type in your response. Let's go back to the base navigation and have a look at organizations. Here you'll find any organizations that you're enrolled onto. In marks, you'll see an overview of all your marks in the modules that you're taking. Due dates will show you upcoming assignments for all your modules. You can quickly see what's due and prioritize your work. In settings, you can adjust the push notifications for the app. You can choose to be notified when new content and discussions are created, when new marks and feedback are released, and you can be reminded for upcoming due dates. For further resources on Blackboard, you can visit blog.westminster.ac.uk forward slash blackboardhelp forward slash student. Thanks for watching.